Hi, this is Emlid, and today we're going to tell you about post-processing images from RTK drones using the drone data processing workflow in Emlid Studio. Usually, such images have precise coordinates, but sometimes during the flight, it's not possible to maintain a proper RTK connection between the drone and the base. As a result, some photos are taken in the float or even single solution and require post-processing. And with the latest stable release of MLID Studio, you can easily update them with precise coordinates. To update your images with precise coordinates, you'll need the following data obtained during the survey flight. A Rhinex observation file from a base, a Rhinex observation file from a drone, a Rhinex navigation file from the base, an MRK file from the drone, a set of images from the drone. Let's post-process the data using the Drone Data Processing Workflow in MLID Studio. Select the Drone Data Processing Workflow in MLID Studio. Check Upload MRK from RTK Drone and add the MRK file from your drone. Add the Rhinex observation file from your drone. MLID Studio will automatically add the offset between the camera and antenna from the MRK file. Add the Rhinex observation file from the base. Set the base coordinates. By default, the Rhinex header position is used. If you placed your base over a known point, enter the coordinates and antenna height. Add the Rhinex navigation file from the base. Click Process. The POS file with the event's timestamps will be automatically added to the timestamps field in the geotagging section. Add the folder with images from the drone's camera. If you want to update original images with geotags, toggle Update Original Photos. By default, MLID Studio creates geotagged copies of images in a new folder. Click the Tag Photos button. The geotagging process will start. When the processing is over, click Show Result Files to get to the folder with the geotagged images. Once you updated the images from your RTK drone with precise coordinates, you can proceed with creating a map in the photogrammetry software. Thanks for watching.